These are among the rare side effects that Floridians are now reporting after taking the COVID-19 vaccine. And tonight, I-Team investigator Katie Legron taking a closer look at how these symptoms are now being tracked and what health experts say you should be aware of. With just mild symptoms to show following his first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Soreness in the arm. Michael Whitworth expected little after the second. The second dose, that, that was a completely different story. Two hours after the shot. The symptoms uh, continued to get worse uh, in the arm. The pressure became uh, quite severe in my arm and I couldn't really move it at all. By hour 10. Low grade temperature, shaking, chills, rigors. Um, my lips became very pale. Every bone and muscle in my body was shaking for over 90 minutes. I actually started hallucinating. What Whitworth describes is extremely rare, according to this government database, which tracks adverse reactions following vaccination. In the first four weeks of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout in Florida, the vaccine made up more than 90% of all adverse reports filed from here, more than 330 out of 850,000 doses administered in the state at the time. That's less than 0.04%. Yes, that's relatively low. USF Epidemiology Associate Professor Dr. Jason Salimi. It's an early warning system. You shouldn't look in this database and if you see 300 instances of adverse events, I, I wouldn't get worried, right? The idea is so that if on a population level, we keep seeing the same kind of adverse event that we wouldn't expect, over and over and over again. It should then prompt scientists to dive deeper into that. The most common reports included chills, fatigue, and dizziness. Females reported more than three times males. Six deaths were also reported. The youngest, this 56-year-old South Florida doctor, described as healthy before he died after receiving the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. His death is under investigation. We don't say that these adverse events are specifically tied to the vaccine. We just know that they happened after a person was vaccinated. You have to take these data, not with a grain of salt, but in many ways they require way more deeper investigation to verify the information and to make sure that it is truly tied to the vaccine. What's reported to the database isn't verified and completely voluntary. Do you plan to report the side effects to the CDC? I, I probably will. I think hallucinations are kind of important. For Michael Whitworth, it's more than personal. I take care of COVID patients. Many of them, I'm intubating them. He's a medical doctor who's now experienced the side effects of the vaccine and continues to witness the reality of the disease. They are in a horrific situation. Uh, so much so that I, I would not wish that on anyone. The side effects, yes, you have some. Compared to the actual COVID, it's uh, nothing. This database is constantly updating, and now the CDC has come up with a phone app to make it easier for you to report. We've posted details on our website. I'm my team investigator, Katie Legrone, taking action for you.